Well, 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 look who's flexing their yacht muscles. It's none other than Beyonce and Jay-Z, the reigning royalty of modern pop. Instead of settling for an Airbnb or a rental property, they decided to drop a casual $400 million on a mega yacht. Yep, $400 million. And forget about a run-of-the-mill coastline. They found a stretch of water that looks like it was plucked straight out of an ultra-fancy resort. Their mega yacht is so stunning, it puts all other vessels to shame, with Jay-Z being worth a cool $1.3 billion, while Beyonce's net worth topped $500 million. They are among the wealthiest couples in the music industry, leading many to believe that they own a massive super yacht that's ideal for music videos or family getaways. However, this assumption is incorrect the couple does not actually own a yacht. Instead, they've opted to charter one of the most exquisite yachts ever constructed, the legendary Flying Fox. Being one of the most majestic yachts available, the ship has a length of almost 446 feet. It's one of the largest yachts in the world, ranking 14th overall. It's so big, it wouldn't even fit inside of a football field. Put that into perspective. But that's not all. It also boasts 11 cabins that can accommodate 22 cabins and sleeps 54 crew personnel in 25 cabins. And let's talk about speed, shall we? This yacht can reach a blazing 20 knots, which is pretty impressive for a vessel this size. But what really sets this yacht apart is the interior. The extensive use of real wood gives it a cozy, homely feel that even multi-million dollar mansion dwellers will appreciate. And don't get us started on the yacht's library. Sure, it might not get a ton of use, but just having it there adds a touch of sophistication to the whole vessel. Now, we'll fill you in even more about this yacht that'll make Captain Hook grin harder than the Cheshire Cat. The Flying Fox has earned the moniker Disneyland on the Water, even though it no longer boasts any beloved Disney characters, apart from Beyonce, who starred in the live-action Lion King movie. However, this vessel features lots of amenities that appeal to both children and adults. These include a 12-meter swimming pool, multiple swimming pools, platforms for water sports, a two-story salon, a sun deck that doubles as a dance floor illuminated by LED lights, a spa, a jacuzzi, and much more. Additionally, the yacht offers a relaxation room at the bottom, which immerses you in seawater if you're seeking an aquatic retreat. The Flying Fox is also loaded with tons of fun gadgets. From jet skis to sea bobs to underwater scooters, you won't run out of ways to explore the open seas. And let's not forget the two helipads for those high-flying moments. Plus, its miniature submarine, the Triton Sub, is worth a whopping $5 million and rumored to be a favorite of A-listers who rent yachts. We'd love to give it a spin and see what the underwater world has to offer. Now, before you start planning your next seafaring adventure, let's talk price. This yacht comes with a fat 400 million price tag, as we've mentioned earlier. And that's not all. Its annual operating cost is a jaw-dropping $40 million. That's more loot than Blackbeard could dream of. So unless you've got a treasure chest stashed away somewhere, it looks like you'll have to work double time to make this dream a reality. Oh, mateys. Fun fact, by the way, did you know that Beyonce and Jay-Z's luxurious yacht, dubbed the Flying Fox, is so fancy that it has its own helicopter landing pad? That's right. This yacht is so extra that it can cater to the best of both worlds, water and air. And if that's not impressive enough, rumor has it that the yacht also has a hot tub that can fit up to 12 people. That's enough space for Beyonce, Jay-Z, and their closest friends to soak in the sun while sipping on lemonade or perhaps some of Jay's popular Ace of Spades champagne. But here's the kicker. The Flying Fox reportedly costs a jaw-dropping $4 million per week to rent. We're not joking. And just to give some context here, for the majority of well-off families, a seven-day Disney cruise would cost around $10,000. Yeah, this power duo knows that when it comes to luxury vacations, money ain't a thing. They'd rather shell out millions to charter this beauty than settle for a measly Disney Cruise. Moving on to more controversial news, the yacht has caused quite a stir in the world of the rich and famous, linking not just Jay and Beyonce to the yacht, but the Amazon founder himself, Jeff Bezos. He once vacationed on the yacht so much that people mistook him for the owner. Can you believe that? He had to clear his name and let everyone know that he's just a yacht enthusiast, not a yacht owner. Apparently, he even caused some trouble in Rotterdam when the yacht was too big to fit under the bridge commonly known as the Bridge of Death. 
But because he's Jeff Bezos, they dismantled the bridge just so he could pass through. Talk about pulling some strings. But who is the mystery man who actually owns this yacht and uses it as the world's most luxurious rental service? His name is Dmitry Kamanshik, and he's not your average billionaire. He's the owner of a Russian airport. Because of this business venture, he's now worth over $2 billion. But let's rewind time a bit. Russian mobsters stormed this guy's office in 1992 and threatened him with a gun. He could have caved into their demands or hid under his desk, but instead, he was able to one-up the idiots who were trying to bully him. Unfortunately for them, they didn't realize he was a black belt, easily disarming them and throwing them out of his office. According to many reports, he then had to fight Vladimir Putin and the legal system to hold on to one of the country's best airports. It's said that in order to keep this firm afloat, the man has taken on mobsters, terrorists, and an army of lawyers. If that wasn't cool enough, he's also rumored to be an amateur stunt pilot. Yeah, this guy's life is practically like a Hollywood action movie. So next time you're thinking of vacationing like the rich and famous, remember that you'll need to bring your wallet, your A-game, and maybe even some martial arts skills. Because who knows what kinds of adventure awaits on this yacht. Moving on, not too long ago, several of the finest yachts in the world were detained by countries for being owned by Russian oligarchs, who were allegedly contributing to or profiting off of the conflict in Ukraine. And guess what? The Flying Fox was among the ships on that list, and it was actually seized in Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic. It has been reported that agents from HSI, also known as the Homeland Security Investigations, boarded the ship and conducted a thorough search. However, the nature of their search remains unknown. It appears they came up empty, as the ship was given permission to leave soon afterward. If Jane Beyonce were on vacation while the ship was docked, we can't say for sure if the owner was using it personally, or if he had charted it out to someone else. Our guess is that it would have made headlines all around the world. We're sure the song Beyonce would have written and recorded about it would have been as refreshing as a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. And we can't help but wonder if the law enforcement officers who boarded these mega yachts also managed to sneak in a selfie before taking them. Now, some might argue that there are other celebrity yachts that rival the Flying Fox. Maybe you're a fan of Roman Abramovich's Eclipse, which reportedly has a missile defense system and a mini submarine. Or perhaps you prefer David Geffen's Rising Sun, which has its own movie theater and basketball court. But let's be real here, nothing beats Jay and Beyonce's chartered mega yacht when it comes to sheer star power. And at $4 million per week to rent, this yacht is definitely not for the faint of wallet. So what do you think of the Flying Fox? Are you impressed by its features and luxurious amenities? Or do you think there's another yacht out there that takes the cake? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're a mega fan of all things luxury, then don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell button to stay updated on all of our content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.